What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're watching MFP Fragrance. My name is Alex. I'm the host and today we're going to dive into six samples that were sent to me from the house of Central Obsessions. Kevin Holt over there that owns the company and runs the company is and always has been a massive supporter of me and my growth in this fragrance journey. Now fragrance journey, you might hear that a lot here on TikTok or YouTube or Instagram, all the platforms you hear journey, journey. What does that mean? Well, when you're a content creator and you're starting 99% of the time, you are going to be the one reaching out to brands saying, hey, I'm Alex, I'm a content creator in the realm of this, this, or this, or all of this above. I'm looking to collaborate with you. Uh, this is what you'll get. If you collaborate with me, this is what you'll get. This is what I provide. And here are some samples of things that I provide. Here are some videos of things that I've done. Anyway, long story short, one of the first collaborations I ever had was Kevin over at Central Obsessions. I had heard from my boy Stax that he is incredibly kind and incredibly just very good to people that are creators and really appreciate the people talking about the brand. A few months ago, so a few months ago, I, had, I got an order from him and it was um, his version of Layton, exact. And it was so good. If you check down down below, you're gonna see a probably, probably a video of it um, in my recent videos. Now, he also sent this over too, and I could have sworn I did a review of all of these or some sort of first impressions. And I didn't, and I haven't, and my kids are in my room all the time, and um, they get stuff misconstrued. My kids come in here and start smelling stuff and throwing stuff around, and this got lost in the sauce. Now, this is something that when I talked to him a couple months ago, he's like, hey, I have a bunch of exact stuff that smells exactly like the original. It's my exact line, and I would love to send you over six samples to see what you say, see what you think. Now, having said all that, there are five out of six of these that are the exact, and one of them, which was a new release at the time, uh, Brick Wall, <laughs> um, that I want to smell for you right now on camera and talk about a quick little snippet of that. So the first one up is Brick Wall. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that, but it's going to be able to connect very well with that. Now, Brick Wall is his version of Blockade from Mind Games, and that is very expensive. Mind Games is very, very expensive. This to me, we all know what it is. It is basically uh, Aventus with a mango note in there and some other stuff possibly changed, but it really smells like mango versus pineapple. It is incredible. It is incredible. And I've, <laughs> very, very good. So I'm not gonna get blockade. I wouldn't get blockade because I have this. This is very, very, this is superior in my opinion. Uh, it's less price, you get the same thing. And these are X-rates, it's gonna last a long time. Right, next one up, guys, we're going to talk about is Man of the Night Exact. Now, this is a Lana Weed and Loam from YSL, which has been cloned a lot. Um, I'll be honest, get cloned a lot. But here he's got that thick cardamom, spicy, sexy, sensual, warm thing going. And he nailed it. This smells very nice, very rich, and will be a long-lasting scent on your skin. I can guarantee that much longer than the uh, newer formulations. One that I've rocked with before, I've had his version of Florida Waves in a larger bottle that I've worn quite a bit the summer before last. And he sent this over too. This is pretty cool that we get to smell this one too, um, that I get to wear, that one, wear this one. Uh, Florida Waves Exact. This is gonna be Oceania from Raja Parfums, which we all know is very, very pretty, very expensive, very kind of metallic, aquatic, breezy, soapy. So, I've smelled the original Oceania, uh, and I have a sample somewhere. This is exactly it. This is exactly it. Like literally the exact same thing. That's why the exact line it's gonna be. That's gonna be added to it. It's phenomenal. So um, let's go to the next one. Next one is Morning Zest. Morning Zest Exact. Now this is gonna be a men's Ultra Zest, which I haven't spent a lot of time with this one yet. But this is a very zesty very pretty but also you could be thrown off by the fact that it could smell a little bit like a lemon cleaner or a zesty cleaner of some sort if you can look past that it's got some kind of almost like boozy thing in the background the dry down is kind of superior to like people around you that are gonna like it's just kind of smell different this is gonna smell different than the stuff that people around you are wearing it's very it's very nice very nice mm. next one up is gonna be coastal breeze Exact. This is 1994 Polo Sport. Yeah. And this smells like the 90s. <sighs> Green, dry, aquatic, 
loud, very loud. When I wore this, this got louder on my skin all day long. Loud, loud, projecting, projecting. If you're not into that middle 90s vibe, this will not be for you. This is a very sporty 90s reminiscent fragrance. This takes me right back to what my brother smelled like in the 90s. And what I smelled when I went into like the bathroom, like it's very reminiscent of that. And that's captured here for no, you know, it's no reason to buy a 94 Polo Sport bottle when you can get this from Central Possessions. There's really no reason. We have Insanity Exact. Now I just found out what this one was recently. I've worn it, I liked it. Um, I didn't even check and see until this morning. It's Armani. Uh, Mania or Mania? Nice. A little bit of orange on top. Freshy, sensual, easy grab. Something I see in the office as someone with a you know, colored shirt be wearing. It's very pretty. Very enjoyable. Almost has like a, a leathery kind of darker aspect to it. Dry down. It's very, very nice. Very, very pretty. Definitely an Armani vibe for sure. All right, guys. So I hope that helps you with sensual obsessions buying your... All right, so I hope that helps you guys with buying your first Sensual Obsessions um, sample kit. There are six packs right here, but it comes in and it comes covered with the other side I have put in there. But it's very, very safe, comes in, not broken, and definitely one I recommend. I'm pretty sure you can build your own and get all that good stuff. So definitely check them out, sensualobsessions.com. I'll link them down below. And remember, if you smell like any of these six, you're probably gonna smell good.